I've got it. I've done it, Jeffries. What? How, how did it go? Uh, he signed it. He signed it himself. Look, look here. Mr. A. Hitler. Ah, great. Uh, what's he agreed to? Peace. Peace in our time, I say. He promises that, that that's it. No, no more invading. No more nothing. We can all live together hand in hand. Good stuff, Neville. So, what are the repercussions if he does attack, eh? What are the uh, terms and conditions, as if he say? Well, um, yeah, he... He said. <laughs> yeah, said, said what? He said that he wouldn't. <laughs> What? I, I mean, with uh, with me and um, g good old Frenchie there, you know, Daladier. <laughs> he just caved in. Way, <laughs> no match for us. <laughs> so let me get this straight. Adolf Hitler, possibly the most evil threat to the modern world today. A man who has single-handedly rebuilt the German army, defied all international diplomacy, conquered the Rhineland, invaded Austria, and in his own book talks about his dream for world domination. Told you, told you he wouldn't do anything else. Yeah. Do you not think maybe something a bit more concrete might have been a good idea? But, but well, me and Frenchie, uh, you know, he wouldn't go back, back on his word, would he? But to be honest, I don't think that'll cross his conscience when he invades Poland or wherever he chooses next. Oh, wait a minute, England and France told me not to do this. Probably shouldn't then, I guess. That'd be very wrong of me. <laughs> Yes, yes, but, but... I mean, think about it. Think about what you're saying. I mean, for God's sake, he signed it A. Hitler. His name is an anagram of the liar. You know, sometimes I wonder why it's you and not me running the country. What, what should I do? Go and think about what you've done. What you're going to do about it. And think about why you should stop hanging around with the bloody French.